Hello and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial I want to show you how you can move items in your inventory per drag and drop and also drop items onto the floor. So let's go. So we have to change three things to make this possible. First of all we go to our item structure that we created and we add up a new variable that just called actor. This actor will just be an actor class reference in this case. So if you want, you can move it up here like this. Great. So the second thing is we go to our third person character and we add up a new component. This will be a sphere collision. You can also use a box collision if you want to, but doesn't matter. We call this drop zone and put this in front of our character and move it down here to the floor, you can say. Compile and save this as well. We can close this. And the last part is we go to our item slot that we created where we have our size box, border, thumbnail, in this case a button and the text with the amount. And we have to change something here, unfortunately, because when you want to create a drag and drop functionality, it doesn't work with the button. It's a bug from the Unreal Engine, unfortunately, so we have to change this. Let's delete the thumbnail. So when we remove the thumbnail, of course, we have to go to the graph because the onClick event will not work anymore. So we replace this with a custom event. So we call this use item connected here. Then we go back to the designer and we select the border and this will be our new thumbnail in this case. And we call this in variable and add up the text again as an amount. Make this a variable again and put this down here and can remove the text. Compile and save this as well. So we go back to the graph and what we have to do is, of course, we have to connect the new variable from our item structure. So the actor with the actor right here. So we can close this one here and open up our inventory again. Go to the graph where we have our create inventory and update inventory function. And what I want to do is I want to add up another function called move item. So this is actually the function when we take an item and drop it on another item slot. So let's create two new variables. The first one will be the select item. This will be an integer. The second one will be drop item, also an integer take both of these out here. We get the game instance cost to my instance. Get the inventory. Get a copy. Then we take the select item and put it right here. Go from the array, set array element like that. Put this inside the item, put the drop item to the index. So we get the select item, then we put it to the drop item. So where it has to be, then we copy and paste the set array element, connect the inventory with the target array, connect the select item with the index and leave everything empty. So we create the element into the new drop position and we delete the previous item element. And then we just call our update inventory function. That's it. So compile and save this. Of course, when we go to our update inventory function, he will say, okay, the thumbnail isn't longer a button, so we can remove this one actually. 
and also both of these here. Move this up to here. Can remove this as well. Go from the new thumbnail. In this case, it's not longer a button, it's this picture here. So we say set brush from texture on the valid as well on the invalid case down here, connect it as well. Go from the thumbnail again, connect the textures here and connect the text again. So we fix this as well, compile save this. So now let's set up the actually drag and drop functionality for this. We open up our item slot again and we have to make a few changes here. So we have this custom event use item and now we go to the functions override and say on mouse button down. Then we go from the mouse event and say is mouse button down. Select for this case our right mouse button. So this is for when we want to use the item. So we need a branch on true. Of course, we want to use item like this. If not, we go from here and say detect drag if pressed. Connect the mouse event with the pointer event and select our left mouse button. And then we just go to the return value here, like this one. Great. So the other part is we go again for the override and say on drag detected. In this we take out our thumbnail here as well as the get player character. Then we cause to our third person character because we want to get the widget in this case. Pull this out a little bit because next thing I want to do is we get the brush of the thumbnail, say split structure pin, because the question is we want to know if the brush image valid. So is valid with a question mark because it didn't make sense to drag and drop an empty item slot. Great. So then we take out our index here want to go from the widget, set the select item to our index here because we want to start the drag and drop event. For this we want to create a new widget. So let's go back here, say right click, use interface widget and this will be our drag item. Open this up. We can delete the canvas again, take out a size box, make the same size as our item slots. So in my case, 120, 120, like that. And as well, take a border as a um, thumbnail, make this in variable and that's it. So this is our drag item widget here. We can close this. We go back to our item slot. We want to create a widget. And we select our drag item. From the return value we say get thumbnail. Then we want to set the brush. like that. Then we go from the thumbnail, say get brush again and just connect the brush with the brush. And the last important thing is we say create drag and drop operation. And it's already been set so we just have to connect this. The only thing that we have to change is to change this one here to mouse down. 
and of course we connect the return values so the create drag item widget with the default drag visual like this so this is our drag operation so the last part of course is again the override and we want on drop so what should he do when we drop the item again we say get player character again we cast to our third person character we get the widget again we take out our index here and we want to set the drop item so the target where we want to put the item and this is of course our index again because the drop item event will trigger on the target item slot and the drag item will be triggered by our previous item slot so and then we just go from the widget and call our move item function like this and go to return value and say return value true great so let's see if this works we hit play go to an item pick it up we drag it as you can see put this right here and now it's here and we can pull it around and we can only do this as you can see with a valid thumbnail we can put it wherever we want we can reopen the inventory it will still there so the next part is how we actually drop this item for this we open up our inventory again and we have to change something here actually we need the border again put this right here we set the brush of the border to none and then we set the size to the actually normal size and the position to zero like this then we open up our graph and as well we need then override here the on drop event in this case we get the game instance again cast to my instance in this case We get the inventory, take out the select item here, get the player character again, cast to our third person character, connect it, get the word location of the drop zone, like this one here. And then we say spawn actor from class, connect it, right click, split structure pin on the spawn transform location, connect the location like that. Then we get a copy of the inventory, connect the select item of course, say right click, split structure pin, so we have all the variables of the selected item. We take out our actor, connect it with the class here that we want to spawn, of course. Then we go from the amount, say equal integer, put this to one. Again, from the amount, say integer minus integer, leave it to one. We need the branch here, connect the equal with the condition. Then we go from the inventory, set array element, of course, in the true case and on the false case as well, we want to set array elements. And the last part, of course, is we want to call the update inventory again. In both cases and this is the end up here so the return value goes to true of course connect the inventory down here is a target array the select item is in both cases the 
index up here. We leave it to nothing because the element is gone because it's under one, so it's empty. Down here, we go right click, split structure pin, and now we have to connect the name, then the amount minus one, the thumbnail, the mesh, the actor, the state, the time, the usable and valid status. So this is our drop function from the inventory. We go back to the designer because it's very important that you put the border between the canvas and the size box. So it's behind the size box. It's very important. And the last part is we open up our items that we created because we add up the item structures. So for the book, for example, we have to set the actor here to, of course, the book and as well for our potion. So like this. And the last part is we go to the item class and we have to, of course, connect the actor as well here like that. So let's see if it works. We'll play, pick up these portions here, open up our inventory and drag it out. There it is. Drag it out. There it is. And we can pick it up again, pull it out, move it around. Great. So I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you have any questions, please let me know. And yeah, goodbye.